Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out redzonecoins.com and use code ZERK for 15% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the team of the week, week to reveal. So this is some pretty interesting stuff guys Now I'm going to go over real quick the two cards that came out last night and then I'm going to go over the other cards that were just revealed as well. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Italian Stallion for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout-out in the next video, drop a like in the video and make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below Nota Gang. Now, of course, if you guys have that notification bell turned on, then you should have seen the video last night, or at least hopefully YouTube sent you out the notification to see the video last night and be going over these two cards that were revealed last night i tend to do reveals the night before when it comes to like legend players or team of the weeks if ea does put out a little teaser which they tend to so to quell jackson we knew about this card last night i'm not too upset about it in my opinion he is one of the better middle linebackers in the game of course uh with junior Seau being the best one that you could go ahead and buy excluding of course sam mills uh, a lot of people say london fletcher powered up 290 overall maybe better you could say that, but also you do have to power him up, and then you're stuck with the power up. You have to spend all the training, which you can get back uh, at least half of that. So is what it is there. But Nicole Jackson, for a middle linebacker, he's a good middle linebacker. For Madden 21, we don't really use middle linebackers. I'm sure a lot of you guys really don't use middle linebackers that much uh, because of the fact that, of course, linebackers this year, the change of direction isn't very good. They're not really up to par with the speed of the wide receivers and even some of the tight ends in the game. So to quote Jackson, 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 87 tackling, 86 block shed, 85 hit power, 87 player and 76 zone. It's really not a bad card. It's, it's really, really not a bad card at all. It just kind of sucks that not a lot of people like to use middle linebackers just because of really how they play in Madden 21. So not a bad card necessarily from the stats but maybe not the greatest card for Madden 21 itself. Uh, and then we also have got Marvin Harrison coming in, right? So he looks pretty comparable, I would say. Well, almost comparable to Reggie Wayne because he does have 90 speed compared to Reggie Wayne's 89 speed. He does have 83 jumping, 87 catching. Uh, he has 85 spectacular catch, 87 short, 88 medium, 87 deep route running, and 80 catching traffic. Just from the look of the stats, a quick glance, you may think he looks really, really similar to Reggie. There's slight differences, though. Uh, one being the catch of traffic is definitely way low on Marvin Harrison, which I am not a fan of. Also, the route running, right? So powered up, you're looking at 88, 89, and 88, which is very, very unfortunate because obviously you guys know that when it comes to route running, hopefully you know this anyways, that 90 is really the threshold you want to go for when it comes to medium, deep, or short, uh, whichever one you really want to put that wide receiver on. If you're a player who wants to get someone to put slot apprentice on them, which I'm sure that's probably why you want to get Marvin Harrison. It's why I have uh, Reggie Wayne. Well, you want to get that medium route running up to 90 because a lot of those routes that are available with Slide Apprentice, which are super, super glitchy, like the corner routes, the post routes, uh, a lot of different routes as well in general, just are medium route running. Yeah, once you get to 90, that's where you're really going to see that big separation. And a lot of people like to run press man coverage, of course. So you really want to get the, the uh, route running up to over 90 there. And unfortunately, with Marvin Harrison, you really have to pick between getting the route running up over 90 or going with the deep and with reggie wayne of course powered up you do already have a 90 medium route running which means you also can put go deep on him which a lot of people run and get the deep route running up to over 90 which is what i like that's what i think really really separates these two cards but marvin harrison 90 speed good route running uh we just wish that you know you can get two of them up to the threshold Kevin traffic wish was a little bit higher it's not a bad card at all and if you guys are rocking out a colts theme team you're probably really really excited especially since the fact that as well i'm pretty sure to jackson was a member of the colts now as for the other cards and the heroes though let's get right into this guys so when it comes to these players i'm about to show you these are the quote unquote collectible players right so any player that you guys see right here like the 78th to find digs 
is really just a collectible to be used in the set. It is an actual player, but it's not really supposed to be used as necessarily a player. It's more so for the collectible uh, to get the set done. So basically what's going to happen is all these players, in case you guys didn't see Team Week Week 1, they all now get a plus one to their power up. So Stefan Diggs has an 85 overall base elite, which can be powered up to an 86. Now, if you go to his power up, he'll have an 87 overall card available. So or an 87 overall upgrade available, which you can get with training. So Stefan Diggs got an upgrade. Harold Landry got an upgrade. Marlon Humphrey, pretty big name right here, also got an upgrade. And also Aaron Jones. I know uh, some Packers fans are probably really, really hoping he would get the Team League Hero. As I said in my Team League prediction video, I kind of expected him to not get the Hero. I kind of expected him to just get uh, one of these cards right here. Also, Khalil Mack, which is pretty interesting to see them give Khalil Mack an upgrade. Uh, I thought maybe he would be a Team League Hero if they decided to maybe switch it. You guys know that last week we did actually get an offensive team of the week hero in Devontae Adams I thought maybe they would switch in and go defense and they give Khalil Mack the card they did not but he did get an upgrade so he has a plus one and also CMC has a plus one so pretty interesting stuff to see Christian McCaffrey as well get that upgrade you guys already know that Christian McCaffrey is going to be out I want to say four to six weeks I could be wrong with saying that but I think he's out for like the next four to six weeks so cool to see them give him at least a plus one upgrade now in terms of how those cards are going to look you guys can see right here Khalil Mack as I said this is going to be the same thing for all of them Khalil Mack though was 1100 training to get the plus one you can see he can now be powered up to an 89 overall and Christian McCaffrey can now be powered up to a 90 overall we only have 86 speed and 88 acceleration now of course these cards will be out later today i do believe around 2 p.m eastern time so expect a video from me but as you guys can see team of the week dak prescott i am so excited for team of dak prescott you guys know there's gonna be some gameplay later today come on you, you already know 80 speed 87 throw power 90 short 87 medium and 87 deep which honestly is pretty good because if you guys don't know the throwing thresholds to uh, avoid inaccurate passes it is 80 short 85 medium and 90 deep actually right so if you put go deep on dak you're going to get the throw power up, and you're also going to be able to get that throw deep up. So this Dak Prescott card is actually pretty good looking. Like 80 speed, that's not all that bad at all. Uh, obviously, he's not Lamar Jackson, but that's some pretty good speed in comparison to the other quarterbacks that we currently have in the game. 87 throw power, not bad. 87 deep, you put go deep on him. You're going to easily be able to get both of those up over 90 with the short with the medium and i think this is honestly a pretty good card is it the best quarterback in the game i think a lot of people will still be rocking out with lamar jackson i think that overall lamar jackson is probably still the better quarterback but i love this card i'm a cowboys fan i'm definitely gonna drop some gameplay with dak prescott but as for you ravens fans speaking of lamar jackson enjoy your new tight end with ltd mark andrews so of course as i said guys these cards the limiteds are not based off the current week so regardless of how mark andrews did this week this is based off of how he did in years previous so lamar uh, mark andrews here 85 speed 77 strength 89 catching 87 catch traffic 86 spec catch 88 short 88 medium and 71 run block honestly pretty good but here's the thing right he's ltd he doesn't have a power up so he can't be powered up because he has a gold card and also the route running you're gonna have to put play fake on him to get that over 90 in my opinion even as good as this card does look for sure uh, i still feel like jermichael finley is overall the best tight end in the game still because he does get over that 90 medium route running which is really important if you were in the tight end apprentice so you can get those corner routes all that stuff same thing with marvin harrison so pretty important stuff there but i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below these cards will be out later today make sure you guys turn the notification bell on so you don't don't miss my video i'm gonna be opening up some packs hopefully pull the mark andrews and start to work on dak prescott so hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time